Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie with System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Well here's a question that comes up all the time. How do you create a child theme for your Divi site? Well firstly, why would you want to? Most of the time, 99% of the time in fact, the only thing I do with my Divi site is a bit of CSS coding. And if that's all you're doing, you don't need to create a child theme according to the Divi documentation. But things like WooCommerce, for instance, I wanted to add some buttons to a WooCommerce site the other day. And that means updating the functions PHP file. Anytime that you're going to update any of the core files, it's a good idea to have a child theme. Because if you do this on your original and there's an update, it'll get overwritten. And this is really easy to do. So let's get started. We're actually going to use a plugin for this today. It's called Child Theme Configurator. I've used it many times in the past. It's absolutely free. I'll put the link below the video. And this actually gives you other tools as well. It can analyze your site for problems and things. Just take a look down here. But the thing I'm most concerned with today is just creating the child theme. So let's go ahead and download it. I'm using Google Chrome, so it's downloading it to my browser here. Once downloaded, we can go to our dashboard, go down to plugins. And you can either hit new or just go to the plugins and hit add new. I'm going to hit the add new. I want to upload a plugin. You can hit the choose file button and browse to your download location. Mine's right here, so I'm simply going to drag it up and drop it right there. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and install it. I'm going to go ahead and activate the plugin. And there it is right there. To actually create your new child theme now, let's go down. We're going to go to tools and you're going to see child themes down here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And right at the top here, we've got some tabs. I'm going to close that little notification up there. Parent child is the one we're going to be using today. I want to create a new child theme that's checked by default. And you can actually select a parent theme and save a backup right there. I'm not going to do that. I've actually got WP Vivid backing up my site, so I'm good to go. If you want to learn more about that, check out our playlists. But what I will do, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Analyze button, and it's going to check out that, make sure there's no problems. Okay, well, we've got two green check marks there, so we're all good to go. If we roll on down, it's going to call our new theme, Divi Child, which is fine for, absolutely fine for me. You can call it by your brand name if you want to. Call it whatever you want, but Divi Child's lets people know exactly what it is. You can choose, save your CSS styles in a primary style sheet or a separate style sheet. I'm going to leave mine just as it is right there. And you've got parent theme style sheet handling up here. I'm going to leave mine on the do not there. You can add theme name, description, author, version and stuff there if you want to to your theme right there. I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm going to keep it very simple. If we move on down, we've got copy menus, widgets, and other customizer settings. I'm going to leave that unchecked at the moment. Should be fine. It tells you you only really need it the first time you've done it, but I'm pretty sure with Divi I don't need to do that. If you've got a problem with it, just check that and it'll get it done for you. I'm happy now. Let's create a new child theme. Okay, now I click that button. Just took a few seconds and we're here. We've actually created the child theme but what we want to do is preview it make sure it's going to work before we actually activate it so let's preview the child theme and as you can see it's opening here in the theme customizer that looks okay to me it looks exactly the way it did you want to go through and if you've got a lot of pages go through and check your pages this is a development site so i'm not going to go through and check all the pages I'm pretty sure it's going to work fine. I've done this plenty of times before. When you're happy that everything's going to work for you and the site's not breaking, go ahead and hit the Activate and Publish button. Great, once published, we can actually go back down to our dashboard here. 
Let's now go to appearance and themes. And as you can see, our active theme is a Divi child theme. And that's all there is to it. We're actually working on the Divi child theme. Any edits we make now, we're actually making with the child theme that's connected to our parent theme here. So we can go in, we can go into the theme file editor right here. It'll always give you a warning that be careful what you do when you edit here because it can break your site really easy. If you're happy, hit I understand. If you're afraid, hit go back. I'm just going in here to demo what we've got here. And there's a simple style sheet, there's not much in there. And here's the functions PHP, which is the bit that you might want to modify to add different features to your site. For instance, in our next video, I'm going to add WooCommerce buttons to a WooCommerce site that we built. And I need to come in here and add a little bit of code. And if I did that on the regular site, it would work, it would be fine. But when the site updated, it may overwrite this. So there you go guys, there's how to create a child theme. Let's just make sure it's going to work fine on the front end. We'll visit the actual site. Here we go, let's have a look at our hover effects. Yep, they're working fine. Oh, we've got that little scroll bar effect going on down there. Inline form, parallax, text mask there. Little library. Uh, button on the bottom, yeah. Everything seems to be working perfectly there. If we visit a different page, perhaps. Yep, all good to go. And we've got a little custom menu over here. Yep, that's working absolutely fine. So there you have it, guys. There's how to easily create a child theme for your Divi site. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, I'll put this URL below the video for anybody that needs to use it. We can do this manually, but it's just as easy to do it very quickly with a plugin and it won't slow your site down. It's pretty lightweight. Don't forget guys, if you've got any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.